Not far from the jungle by our villa in Bora Bora was this wonderful lagoon right out of Gilligan's Island, and it had this palm tree leaning out over the water, just asking to have pictures taken there. So we did. So the first thing I set up was my Godox AD200 as a hair light coming from the left, and my trusty AD600 as my key light. I put a honeycomb grid on it. It's a really portable way of putting a beam of light on somebody without using a snoot or barn doors or anything like that. It's flat, it fits right into the reflector. It's only seven inches wide, and it travels really easy. I like small lightweight things. It was near the end of the day, the sun was lower in the sky, lighting up the background, and I always try to find shady spots to put the subject in so I can light it up any way I want without depending on the sun. Plus the clouds and the sun were changing so quickly, one moment there's shade, next moment there's sun, so I like finding shady spots where I can start with a clean slate. So here's a shot with just the edge light, but not the key light. I like this look too. Sometimes I turn my main lights off because I like the way it looks, a little more dramatic. And then sometimes I like it with the lights on. I like that too. So I, I keep going back and forth. I, I like I like everything. I like it all. So I'm using a Sony a7 III, all these shots so far, with my standard 55 1.8. Wonderful small lens that you can still get a nice blurry background with. Now, since this scene is so nice, I thought I'd show a little more of it, so I switched to my 35 1.8. Another great small lens, great for traveling. Oh, I really like this one. This is one of my favorites. It shows off her body really well. Her pose is great. The clouds are swirling. Everything is just wonderful. This is a great, I love this shot. This is great. Now remember these are flashes. They only last like a thousandth of a second. Most of the time I'm seeing her like this. And a lot of times I like what I see. So I turn the flashes off, take some more pictures without the flash. This is just available light. Since I brought my Sigma 105 1.4, I had to use that. The 105 gives you a look that's just so seductive. It looks so cinematic. It's so beautiful. There's just something about it that's, it's worth bringing the weight and the bulk of that giant lens. It has a whole different look and feel, and I love it. But it does crop in pretty tight, and the background is kind of blurry. So when you're in a location like this, there's only so many shots you want to do where you're up close. I mean, you can't really tell where you are. You might as well be in Minnesota. I'm sure there's a palm tree somewhere in Minnesota. So I backed up as far as I could, but it's still kind of tight and cropped in. That's why I like my 55. It's right in the middle between being zoomed in and being too wide. But anyway, the 105 is great. These are great shots. As the sun and the clouds keep changing, I have to keep changing the amount of light. Like here, you can see the background is lit up. And here, it's not lit up. But when the background's not lit up, the foreground pops out even more, stands out more, which is great. So you have benefits to all these different looks. And she's the perfect model for this. Just so much fun doing this stuff. It's so therapeutic. It's therapeutic for her, it's therapeutic for me, and hopefully it's therapeutic for you watching this. I get to take you around the world with me, and we all get to experience the joy of photography together. So this is just the beginning of our Bora Bora adventure. I can't wait to show you all the other locations we're going to be shooting in. We're going to have a great time, so have a pina colada and I'll see you in the next video.